In the last 12 years, my ministry has taken me in a direction I never expected or sought out. I preside at a lot of funerals, mainly at the crematorium, for people who aren't attached in any way to a church, but have a desire for a proper funeral, as one family said to me. It's never an easy task. The deep truths of our faith, which can be so consoling at other times, often don't spin their magic when death is still raw. Later on they can do their work, but at a funeral the pain is often too all-absorbing for the words of faith to effectively break through and do much in the way of real consolation. The healing will take place in the Lord's way and time that respects the rhythm of human grief. But what I always try to do is to assure a bereaved family that in the end nothing, absolutely nothing, can separate us from God's love and forgiveness. We are in this life and the next in hands far safer and gentler than our own. I want them to know that God isn't a God of punishment but a God of forgiveness. God isn't a God who records our sins but a God who washes them away. God isn't a God who demands perfection from us but a God who asks for a repentant heart when we can't measure up. God isn't a God who gives us only one chance but a God who gives us infinite chances. God isn't a God who waits for us to come to our senses after we've fallen, but a God who comes searching for us, full of understanding and care. God isn't a God who's calculating and tight-fisted in his gifts, but a generous God who sows seeds everywhere without regard for waste or worthiness. God isn't a God who's powerless before evil and death, but a God who can raise dead bodies to life and redeem what is evil and hopeless. God is not a God who's capricious and fickle, but a God who is utterly reliable in his promise and goodness, a God who is so rich in mercy. God isn't a God who's dumb and unable to deal with our complexity, but a God who fashioned the depth of the universe and the deepest recesses of the human heart. Ultimately, God isn't a God who can't protect us, but is a God in whose hands and in whose promise we are far safer than when we rely upon ourselves.